Today is May 10th, 2022. It is a Tuesday, and today I'm going to try to replicate this bottle. So first you want to select the mesh, the cube, and you want to do Control 2 to apply a subdivision modifier, so it goes from a cube to a sphere. Then you want to click on top to go into edit mode, then you want to click on 3 to go to face select. If you can't click on 3, just click face select on the top left corner. Do Alt-Z to turn on toggle, and if you can't do that, Alt-Z toggle x-ray is right there on the top right corner. Um, and you just have to scroll with your mouse button to get to that if your screen is small. Um, select this face at the bottom, click I for inset, and then look at it and then say, well, that's not what I want. So go back into edit mode and then do control R and um, just kind of go hover over an edge and then scroll all the way up so it straightens that up. Click A to select the mesh and then scale on the Z axis so that it scales on the Z axis. And then, and then, and then, and then, um, we can do control R and then kind of put something maybe over anywhere we see if we're anywhere we see that there should there could be curves so i'll do that and then let me see i'll do another control r over here and another control r and i'll put that in there and then i'll scale that kind of like that way and then i'll go to the button under escape and i'll click front view and then i'll select that and maybe i'll scale it this way and then I'll grab it and just move it upwards. And then I'll kind of look at it and be like, mm, it's still not what I want. And then maybe I'll select this and then kind of scale it. Mm, no, it's giving, no, never mind. Let me do this one, scale it like that. Yeah. But then it looks really weird on the side. I don't want that. So maybe I'll select these edges. No, not those. Maybe scale it this way, like that. Maybe, maybe so, maybe not. Um, and then um, there's this thing at the bottom. There's a control R here at the bottom, so let me go and put it over here at the bottom. And then I also see if I go on three and click on this face, select this face. Where is the face? Hello? Thank you. Um, if I just... Let me see something. I do control B. It's gonna look weird. How do I round those edges? I know. I'm gonna go front view. I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna do um, P by selection. And then I'm gonna call this bottom. And I'm gonna call this bottle. And then this one, um, I think what I was gonna do is I was gonna take. Um, I'll click on two for edge select, or you could just do edge select over here, top left corner, next to face select, and then scale a little bit downwards like this. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, let me do alt, and then do this, and then scale a little bit. Jesus, that's so bad. Well, let me do control R before I do that, and put it all the way here at the bottom, and then let me do alt and select all these edges here, and then scale that and see if that's a little bit better. I think it is. Okay, great. And then I'll do, I'll actually do Alt C to get out of X-ray mode, see what we're looking at, and then I'm gonna go here, right click, shade smooth, right click, shade smooth, look at this over here, maybe we could fix that, because now it looks ugly. Okay, um, this is very ugly. I don't want to see that. It looks really ugly. What if I delete it? It looks like really bad. Okay, three, face select. No, this small one. How can I have a small? Hello. I don't think I like it. What if I go to modifiers and add a subdivision surface? Oh my god, that just makes it so much worse. Um, how do I get rid of that bottom thing? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Really? Okay, shade smooth, shade smooth, edit that. Maybe I want it to be like back where it was and then inset. No, because then I have edge select. Okay, let me do face, inset. No, that doesn't do absolutely anything. I just don't want this thing here at the bottom. It's so ugly. Um, I mean, we won't see it, right? Hmm. 
I don't like it. I really don't know how to get rid of it. And if I add a subdivision surface modifier, it just makes it even sharper. I added one to the top one, by the way. If I go back into here, scale it more. Nah, because you can clearly see, like, what's wrong with this thing? You know what? I don't care really like that. I'm not going to waste my time. Um, go back up here, right? Um, select this top one, and I'm going to um, alt edge select this one and kind of... Actually, no, let me do another control R and just do one over here and then scale this to be kind of like maybe like this. I don't want it to be like that. Let me do control Z. Bring, okay, oh, it's because I don't have front view. Alt Z, turn that on, select this. Just bring it downwards on the Z axis. And then do control R and kind of do something like that. I didn't want it to be so low, so maybe move it downwards. And then do something like that. Kind of, kind of, maybe so. Um, and then for the cap, I guess we could do like, um, like front view. And then maybe P by selection to make it its own thing. I don't like it. And we can call it cap, and then maybe go into edit mode, select all the mesh, do control R, and then bring it all the way maybe over here. I don't like it. What about alt this one, scale this one, and this one too. I don't like that, but then why is it like that? Um, and then maybe edge select this one and scale that like that. Is that better? It looks like a shampoo bottle. Anyway, um, so we do want it to be bigger though. And then maybe a little bit like this. Maybe like. Whoa, it's too much. Okay, and then we'll extrude this, right? So we'll take. I'll, to, I'll actually take this one. Um, actually. I'll take everything, extrude a little bit. Actually, not move it, just extrude. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I should have selected the bottom face. There is no bottom face, is it there? Nope, there is not. That's amazing. Um, I messed up. <laughs> How do we fix this? I don't know. I'm going to be so honest with you. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I can go here. Um, I can do odd. I can do two, and then alt, edge select, extrude on the Z, kind of like that. And then I can like bring this a little bit downwards, like that. Get out of Alt Z to see how it looks like. Um, and then maybe what I can do is because it's supposed to be more like of a more of a cube. If I do Control B, is it gonna be weird? I move it over to subdivision, sir. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me just delete that. Um, what can I do? I don't know what I can do. I'll be so honest with you. Like this edge even can just be so ugh. We go front view, alt C, look at this edge and just Bless you. Look at it from that view, but it's like crooked. So ugly. Okay, I don't really care enough. Um, alright, so then question is how do I do that black um that black line there? I was just gonna like extrude this, but then this doesn't have a bottom anymore. So what am I gonna do? Oh, well, I know. Click on this, right? And then just do A, okay, just to see everything. Control R, and then just put that over here. And then I'll go front view, look at it this way, and then just select this, go P by selection, and then just call it the black part. 
why is it in caps lock okay and then i'm gonna give this a solidify modifier so that it doesn't clip and this one too there we go um and then let me get out all z and go to material preview so we can start adding some materials i should also probably put a plane and some lighting okay um so i'm gonna do plane i'm gonna do plane so mesh plane scale it on the five bring it down g and z um go to edit mode click on two for edge select click on the edge in the back over here and over here extrude z maybe like 10 yeah okay select all of this scale it on the y i mean on the x okay and then and then and then and then um i should probably um it does look like it's a marble floor so what i'll do is i'll select i'll cl click on three face select face select this face click on p by selection and then get out of the um, edit mode and just call this the floor what a surprise and then the rest the one that's left is the wall oh my god okay and then let me just get some of these colors so let me get my color picker that i got chrome extension um and just go to material properties and just start adding materials so we're gonna go to hex and just add that there okay see pretty now only thing is this part over here i'm going to go to object um relations make single user um materials because obviously when i clicked on when i just tried to give a material to one object it did the same for the other objects that means that they're they're linked together and i didn't want this one to be linked so i could just change it to black and i think that this one how do i make a thing more like um hmm how do i make it more more um i think it's more rubbery well this one's very shiny so the roughness we could put it down a little bit this one maybe the roughness can go up so that it looks more rubbery right okay i can't really see it that see it there but if I just add a few more lights, um, let me rotate. I can't rotate. Okay, Shift A, um, light sun. Where is it? Where's the sun? Okay, rotate it so that it's. You're joking. Why is it all the way up there? So rotate it so that it's hitting this way. Maybe move it on the Y, G, Y. Not that far over here, yeah. And then rotate it so it looks over there. I mean, we can look at it from the top view. Okay, so rotate it over here, but I don't know. Okay, I guess. So again, top view, um, let's do shift D, have this over here, rotate it this way, move it on the x-axis, rotate it a little bit like that, move it more on the x-axis, kind of like that, and then let's do shift D again, rotate it this way, um, maybe 90, no, zero, no really 36 really okay g on the x have it be like that why is it like that that's so weird okay um let me select okay go to top view select this light this light and this light and just bring it down on the z-axis are you kidding me instead of bringing it down i brought it up that's amazing Um, and the sun, we have five. Whoa. Let me do five here, too. All right, kind of takes away the color, though. I don't like it. Um, maybe if we just get rid of this one. Oh no no because the shadow is there i think i'll, de I'll delete this one because the shadow is to the left and then i'll delete this one and then i'll just move this one kind of like this way because the shadow is kind of like that way maybe move it to the y this way and rotate it but it's more maybe maybe it's this way 
Oh no, it's more of this one actually. Hold on, if I delete this one. Ew. Looks ugly. Alright, um I guess it could be like this way, maybe move it towards the X. It just doesn't change. Maybe it's the Z. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, don't really care that much. Um only well, thing is I can't get the maybe can I mark seams? Does that work? I don't even think so, can I? Um, if I just get two edge select alt go tab two edge select mark seams. I don't think this is gonna work yet, no, never mind. I don't know how to use that yet. Um so let's see this is more it's ugly i don't like it it needs to be more rounded this ain't rounded so let me do over here edge select this one scale it maybe that way now it looks more squarish it looks like a shampoo bottle Okay, whatever. This is what we're going with. Um, only thing is, why is it like that? And is it really that? Let me get darker. Okay. Um, I think that's it. And then the floor, I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna save this real quick. I'm gonna call this today's date, which is five, ten, twenty-two. And then I'm gonna go to shading, and then. I'm going to go to um, new. So for new material properties, um, click on the pencil VCF, Control Shift T, and then try to find like my marble um, thingy, thingy. What do you call it? My marble texture. <clears throat> and then just wait, and hopefully it doesn't crash. Okay, it worked. So, oh, here's the problem. I forgot to put it to cycle, so it's going to look different now. If I go to layout, it's going to look a little different. Um, let me go to light paths and do scroll down, turn this, oh no, not that one, direct lighting to four, indirect lighting to one, um, and then maybe try scaling both of these things. On the Y, on the on the X, I mean. Um, and I think that's good. I guess I don't know. I don't know. Um, let me just join areas. Okay, that this. isn't it working control zero really purposes emulate not okay control zero thank you okay so that means i have to move back a little bit control alt zero okay i'm gonna do n12 left over here in red okay and then we'll wait this for now, control F, find it, where is the charger? Food. What even am I doing? Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Okay, 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 okay. I know what I'm doing. Um, so blender template, right, right, that's where we go. It is a success, I guess. I just never mind, okay. Um replicating bottle as I always do. When do I not? 
please don't be caps lock if it's caps locks caps locks really oh my no never mind it's even worse it's like i can't even spell okay screen shading layout edit image editor render mode okay um i did add icon add cover i'm already done with the, what what is this no um task we just modeled and um apply material and we um did a little bit of rendering and yeah anyway um blend let me upload the blend file so the blend file is this one rating i'm gonna say i'm gonna give it a four. Ooh, not a five excuse me I mean, it's just, it's a three, honestly. It's not that great. Um, okay, so let me upload the image. Is this thing serious right now? It's not going to save my work, really. This thing hasn't even started. Oh, it did. It looks weird. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, are you serious? Are you serious? This is not the time. This is not the time to crash Notion. <sighs> Maybe it's just my computer, because why would it not be my computer? It's always my computer. It's not even a computer, it's a laptop. Cool, great. Oh my god, yeah, it's me. What do you mean? What is wrong with my everything? Literally, everything just wants to fail today. Okay, um, I'll just wait, I guess. 